objectives to define what is future value of an ordinary entity. Number two, to understand other terminologies of entity. Future value of an ordinary entity. It is a measure of how much a series of regular payments will be worth at some point in the future given a specified interest rate. Formula future value of an ordinary annuity. Future ordinary annuity where is equals to C times 1 plus I as interest rate raise the number of years minus 1 divided by interest rate where FB is the future value of an ordinary annuity C stands for periodic payment where I interest rate of period I annual rate divided by number of conversion periods in a year and N total number of conversion periods Definition Amity A fixed sum of money paid to someone at regular intervals subject to a base compound interest rate Amity certain Payable for a definite duration It begins and ends on a definite or fixed date for monthly payment of car loan Amity uncertain Annuity payable for a definite duration. Example that is insurance. Dependent on some certain event. Simple annuity. Interest conversion or compounding period is equal or the same as the payment interval. Ordinary annuity. Annuity in which the period payment is made at the end of each period. Annuity due. Annuity in which the period payment is made at the end of each payment interval. General ordinary annuity. First payment is made at the first of every payment interval. Problem number one. Suppose Mr. and Mrs. Perez deposit 20,000 pesos at the end of each five years in investment an account that earns 10% per year compounded annually. Find the amount of the annuity. Formula Future volume of ordinary annuity is equal to C times 1 plus I raised to number of years minus 1 divided by I as an interest. Where C stands for the payment period and amount of 20,000 where I is 10% or 0.10 and N is the number of 5 years. Future value is equal to 20,000 1 plus 0.10 raised to number of 5 years minus 1 divided by 0.10 and the answer is 122,102 pesos in 5 years. This is another setup solution that we can use a table to organize the calculation. So a period, payment per period, amount of 5 years, and the total. So we have 1 year, payment per period 20,000, amount of 5 years in 4 years, 20,000 1 plus 0.10 raised to 4 years, and the total is 29,282 pesos. For year 2 or 2 years, 20,000 pesos, 20,000, 1 plus 0.10, raised to 3 years, the answer is 26,620 pesos. While 3 years, 20,000, 20,000, 1 plus 0.10, raised to 2, the answer is 24,200 pesos. In 4 years, 20,000 pesos 
20,001 was pointed, raised to 1, and the answer is 22,000 pesos. And for 5 years, we have 20,000, the total of 20,000. So if we will add 29,282 pesos, 26,620 pesos, 24,200 pesos, 22,000 pesos, 20,000 pesos, and a total of 122,103 pesos. Problem number 2. Cecil paid an amount of 50 pesos at the end of each month for 40 years. An account that pays interest of 10% compounded monthly. How much money do you have after 40 years? Formula. Where future value ordinary annuity is equals to C as the payment period times 1 plus I raised to N as a number of years minus 1 divided by interest rate. So let's substitute C is the payment for period which is 50 pesos and I is equals to 10% divided by 12 for monthly or 0.10 divided by 12 where N is equals to 40 years divided by 12 is equals to 480. So, future value is equals to 50 pesos, 1 plus 0.10 divided by 12 raised to 480 minus 1 divided by 0.10 divided by 12. And the answer is 316,203.98 pesos. Problem number two. Anna and Anna Lins are twins. After graduation and being finally able to get a good job, starting at age of 24, Anna deposited 10,000 pesos at the end of each year for 36 years. Starting at age of 42, Anna will deposit 20,000 pesos at the end of each year for 18 years. Who will have the greater amount of retirement? If both earn 12% per year compounded annually. Solve for Anna's plan. This will be the formula. Future value ordinary annuity is equals to C stands for payment of period times 1 plus I as an interest rate raised to number years minus 1 divided by interest rate where C stands for 10,000 and I is 12% or 0 0.12, where N is 36 years. So let's substitute for the future value. 10,000 pesos as the payment for period 1 plus 0.12 raised to 36 years minus 1 divided by 0.12. And the answer is 4,844,000. 631.16 pesos. Note, the example for Anna and Anna Lynn plans shows the value of time and the advantage of savings period in the amount of money. So for Anna Lynn's plan, formula. Future value of ordinary annuity is equal to period of payment Time is 1, plus I as interest rate, base of number years minus 1, divided by interest rate. Where C is 20,000, I is for 12%, or 0.10, where N is 18 years. Future value is equal to 20,000, 1, plus 0.12, base of number of years, 18 years, minus 1, divided by 0.12. And the answer is 1,114,994.30 pesos.